crowd of people, uh, lots of chanting. Months have passed since these streets were overcome by chaos. Cars were torched and homemade missiles flew through the air as rioters turned this street into what one witness described as a war zone. For Adam Romain and his family, the scars have been lasting. For myself, psychologically, it had a big impact. Um, and it's had knock-on effects financially, uh, stress-wise. Affected my children's behaviour for a good few months. Added stress to our relationship, stress with the family. This car was sent hurtling down Winewen Road, while the crowd followed, smashing windows and taunting police. Yesterday, 14 people were jailed for their role in the violence, and another four sent to young offenders' institutions. For those two hours of violence, their combined sentences total more than 83 years. Today, three 17-year-olds faced the judge and were handed detention and training orders. For the adults, the longest sentence was six years and nine months. For the three 17-year-olds, the longest was two years in a detention and training centre. Speaking at Swansea Crown Court today, the judge said that any custodial sentences for under-18s are always a last resort. But he said he felt he'd be failing in his duty to the people of Swansea if he didn't send the youths into custody immediately. It's estimated that rioters caused around £23,000 of damage. They are throwing bricks at my house. I've got two children inside. Please come. Including hurling bricks through Adam Remain's house while his children cowered inside. They were screaming, absolutely terrified. It's horrible. It's just like you do everything you can to bring your children up as safe as you can, you know. And, and this made me realise that the responsibility uh, towards my children growing up in a safe environment doesn't end at my door. It extends into the community, which then extends in to all of us, you know. And how does it feel today knowing that those responsible have been sentenced? That was a huge relief. It was, uh, I mean, when I was given the news yesterday, I felt closure. Adam and his family had to move out of Mayhill. Now they, like the rest of this community, want to move on.